It's a vibrational resonance that is a particular frequency that I recognize as not my own, or at least a much bigger part of me. And I sort of liken it to the idea of two tuning forks. When you start one vibrating, if they're keyed to each other, then the other one starts vibrating in harmony. And as soon as they start matching frequency and vibrating together, that's kind of what it's like. So the channeling class, as I understood it, ultimately was training you to shift your brainwave frequency to a point where you go into a state called gamma, which is about 40 to 45 or 40 to 100 cycles per second, but I, I stay in the range of about 40 to 45 when I'm channeling. And then Bashar makes an adjustment in his brainwave frequency, and somewhere in the middle we lock. And as we vibrate together, what you get is a translation of his thoughts into the language that I'm programmed with. So the idea of channeling is not possession or anything like that. It is a synchronization of frequencies that allow you to have the same thoughts at the same time as whoever you are vibrating on the same wavelength with. First and foremost, you are always manifesting something. If you were not, you wouldn't have an experiential physical reality, correct? Correct. So the idea is you do not have to learn how to manifest. This is automatic. It's Bashar's perspective that if we understand the nature of reality, the nature of existence, we'll understand our nature better, our relationship to existence, why we're here, why we experience reality the way we do. He is letting us know that there is a way to take all of the different things that people have been talking about on Earth for thousands of years that might be considered philosophies, or more recently, new age concepts, and no pun intended, bring them down to earth. In the sense that we are often left with new age concepts that sound wonderful, but what do they mean? What you are simply learning is how to manifest more consciously, to be more aware of how you manifest so that you can manifest what you prefer, instead of manifesting your unconscious beliefs. For example, one of the concepts you hear constantly in, you know, New Age thought or whatever you want to call it, is follow your bliss, act on your passion, live your dreams. Now that is a wonderful sentiment and it, and it sounds great, but where's the practical side of understanding that concept? How do you do that? How do you go about really living your bliss and knowing that you'll be okay, knowing you'll be supported? He takes that concept, follow your passion and he starts breaking it down. Well, what is that? What is that state of being? What is that feeling? You can think about things all day long. You can talk about them all day long, but if you're not willing to actually act on something that is supposed to be representative of who you are, what your truth really is, who the person is that you truly were created to be, if you don't act on that, you're not speaking the language of physical reality.